Patrick. <laughs> Gotta love the guys. It was a good feeling celebrating with them. They're always uh, supporting me, so yeah, it felt really cool. Cross, Goodman, top of the box, laid off beautifully. Here's Tolkien able to cut it back. John Tolkien, go! Oh, what a superb finish, John Tolkien, for the 1 0 lead. And it all starts right here. Tolkien wins the ball. That's that little give and go. A first MLS goal for John Tolkien in his 15th MLS appearance. I know you have experience playing in the midfield in the past, but have you been pleasantly surprised with how easy of a transition, at least you're making it look like it's been for you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've had to give credit to my, my academy coach, Paul O'Donnell. Uh, he played there a lot when I was younger, so yeah, I'm comfortable playing there and wherever I can help the team, it's good. Yeah, so coach always tells us to uh, to go 2v1s out on the touchline. Uh, Andrew did a great job of not letting him get inside, and uh, I was able to come come and help him in the corner. And uh, I saw Kyle was all the way out wide on the flank, and he's always going to get forward with it. I uh, got back up into the game. He played a long ball up to Patrick. Patrick did a great job of, of bringing it down. And then uh, Wiki found Sean, and Sean had a lot of space, so he, he drove with it. Um, and then Angie did a great job of getting all the way up from the corner, all the way back up into the attack. And I saw Fabio was checking too. And then, yeah, I kind of drove into the pocket. When I, when I got the ball, I was like, uh-oh, what do I do now? And the goal was 15 feet for me, so I was like, yeah, why not? I'll, I'll have a go. Um, and I was able to cut inside and, and score. I didn't try to go five wide. I don't think I would have scored if it didn't take a slight deflection, but we don't need to talk about that. And then after the play, I was just so tired, so I just fell to the ground and was trying to breathe. And then Patrick slapped me in the face when, when I was trying to relax. But yeah, it's definitely something to remember. Yeah, I was uh, I was young when I when I moved to Ironbound. Um, I didn't actually know it was right across the way from Red Bull Arena, but that was super cool for us. Um, it was a great atmosphere for us. There's a great community that comes out to the games every single time, um, and I had a really good team, really good coaches. Um, so yeah, I was able to to work my way through the ranks um, with obviously seeing the arena right across the way, and that gives you a little bit extra motivation when you play. So yeah, it's a really cool experience. Just shoot, we're shooting a little thing. So this is uh, this is where the magic happened. This was a really important place for my uh, for my development, and yeah, this place has a special place in my heart. So yeah, yeah. So I was uh, right down the way at, at, at Ironbound training, and uh, I remember a Red Bull Red Bull coach, Kobe. He came. He asked me to come train with them, and uh, I initially said no. Um, but my father talked to me, he said it's probably a good idea to, to go there. Um, so I had to get out of my comfort zone. But yeah, it was probably the best move I've ever made. Obviously starting in the academy, I was able to play up a few years, so that automatically helped me in the first place. Um, get used to the gameplay at a higher level. Stroud lays it back for Tolkien. Tolkien serves it on the far post, and it's three! New York Red Bulls too, exploding here at MSU Soccer Park. I think uh, the Red Bull Pathway does it the best out of anybody else. Um, you know, you have all the resources you need every level of the way. Um, and also for me, I got to give a lot of credit to my, uh, my academy coaches, my USL coach, um, for playing me in different positions. Um, obviously, being able to play midfield and, and, and left back is, is nice for me. And wherever I can help the team in any way, that's that's what I want to do. We're past four minutes, and now the game is over. The Red Bulls hold on. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to put too much credit for me. Um, obviously, that couldn't have happened without all the guys on the team. Um, I mean, the play really went through them, and, and luckily I was able to, to be the one to finish it. But yeah, I got to give a lot of credit to the guys for, for making that play happen.